Hello, in a recent video I mentioned 5G and the Swedish city of Umeå, which will be the first one in Sweden to implement uh, this technology, uh, with already the other wireless technologies available, 5G will be added upon that, so it will be much more radiation in that city. And I mentioned briefly how this, de this decision was made without uh, regard for public health nor the public interest. Uh, and in this video I just want to shortly uh, focus on that and uh, who knows, probably uh, you have the same thing going on in your country, maybe in your city, so you can take some inspiration here and try to contact the responsible people and see how they answer. Regarding politics, they have a lobbyist, his name is Robert Windruth and he's a Green Party member, uh, Miljöpartiet as it's called in Sweden. And Miljöpartiet is directly translated to be the environmental party, which is kind of ironic in this context. And it's not a coincidence that they picked the Green Party politician, because for the last four years, Peter Eriksson, a former uh, Green Party leader on the national level, has been in the digitalization ministry so he was responsible for the digitalization of sweden swedish schools uh, hospitals all of that so it's not a coincidence that they picked the green party member in umeå initially i uh, contacted the health and environmental protection agency in umeå uh, i asked them this have you conducted or used any research that clearly shows that the 5G technology is safe for people? What have you done or what research have you taken uh, part of or leaned uh, against? And could you please share it? The answer I got is 5G is not a matter of supervision for us today. Contact Robert Windruth who is responsible for Umeå 5G, as I mentioned, the uh, poster project for uh, the big industry. And uh, yeah, so he's um, responsible for the Umeå 5G project and a Green Party Council in Västerbotten. To which I replied, it is strange that you do not have supervision when you are the environmental and health protection department for Umeå. Uh, the city ought to be responsible and aware, not individual politicians. How thorough has the decision been made if you are not involved as the environmental and health protection department? So basically, uh, is this a political decision or a decision made uh, and rooted in environmental and health concerns regarding the 5G implementation? I never got an answer on that. So the next thing to do was to send an email to Robert Windruth and I asked the same thing. I have a question about Umeå as Sweden's first and one of Europe's first 5G cities. Have you conducted or used any research that clearly shows that the 5G technology is safe for people? What have you done and what research have you taken part of? And could you please share it? Two weeks passed by, I didn't get any answer, so I resent the question and uh, I got an answer. Uh, but it was uh, pathetic, it was a copy and paste from their uh, website, the Umeo 5G website, so I can read that for you. The research on radiation from 5G and its possible effects on the environment is relatively new. No, it's not. We already have studies on uh, wireless technologies, 4G, 3G, 2G, uh, VHO already uh, labels uh, wireless technologies to be uh, cancerogenic. So it's possible uh, that it causes cancer and other uh, dangers to the DNA of people. But anyway, uh, he's pretending here. The Swedish Radiation Safety Authority, who is advisory to the government, has not come a long way, long way on their own investigation about 5G radiation and its risks. So he's saying basically that he has no clue, has nothing to show, they have, haven't done any sort of research, and he's trying to say that, oh, so neither has the Swedish Radiation Safety Authority either. It's kind of a low level for a politician, but what can you expect, you know, three-year-old mentality. 
Anyway, let's go on with the copy and paste answer, which is very circular here. Umeo 5G will be active in investigating the health, design and environmental aspects of a connected city to solve any questions that might be raised. Hmm, okay. You have done none so far, so nobody has asked you questions. Anyway, uh, let's continue. The activities will be based on scientific results and based on proven experiences. So as I mentioned, there are already studies out there and uh, research, but they haven't based uh, their work on any of those, yet he writes they will do that, which is, uh, once again, trying to sort of put lies into a, into a circle kind of statement. Anyway, and this is where it gets really funny. He writes, I mean, from the website, the copy-paste answer I got. We will follow precautionary principle in cases where doubts may arise. Uh, well, if you don't have any studies, you haven't done any studies, you have nothing to lean on, I guess the precautionary principle would be to halt the project, wouldn't it? They've basically done no research studies, uh, nor have any guidance uh, regarding their implementation of 5G in Umeå. Um, the politicians like him and the people involved in this project are responsible for possible consequences of the increased exposure of radiation that people in Umeå will uh, experience. They are responsible, you know. There's no two ways of, uh, around that, especially when they don't even bother to answer a simple questions. There is this disgust here because he can't just say we don't have anything, but he's talking in circular, uh, uh, meaningless uh, spirals here. In this video, I just wanted to illustrate how big implementations are done by a very few people. You know, all the people who work for Ericsson and the telecom companies, they work, they produce the things, they develop the technologies. But the decision making, the implementation is done by very few people. And uh, the general public is often not that interested nor aware until, e and not even then if mainstream media reports on something. So it's very interesting and, and you know, I invite you to contact your uh, decision makers on any question you have any doubts about just to see how they answer and share that answer with people uh, you know friends family and if you use some social media um, just you know if more people did that we could actually uh, make a you know m bigger habit of doing this because then they wouldn't be um, inclined to give you copy paste answers from their website just to sort of treat you as a fool and think that will sort sort of uh, you know trick you around into thinking you have actually gotten an answer with some nice words, but you know I don't fall for that. Many people wouldn't fall for that if they just uh, contacted their decision makes, makers and just had a look at what they actually give in response to any questions you have. So take care and all the best. Ciao.